All right, so over on my screen, we have perhaps the best document of the day, if not of the, this entire show. Um, so Microsoft App Store sizzling with the Electron Bot malware. And then this kid apparently uh, got his computer infected. Nice. Um, so sad for him. And I, I can't even, all right, <laughs> I have to get that off the screen. So this is something that's uh, capable of full system takeover, but mostly does SEO poisoning. Do, mm -hmm. do you know what that is? I'm not familiar. Okay, so when you Google something, search engine optimization is what brings it to the top, right? You just learned right. about SEO. Can you just yeah. describe it? Um, it's basically just what lets sites be discovered easily or other content. Um, it's stuff like metadata that mm -hmm. you can mess around with in order to just make your content more discoverable. Right. Research. So, yeah. yeah. So, like, basically, they'll create a fake website um, that is a, a malware website or like that's designed to distribute malware or do some sneaky bad thing. And then, um, <clears throat> in order to make people actually find it, they don't they don't fish people directly by sending them you know a link. They have a bunch of accounts all start clicking on it and linking to it and sharing it and whatever else and create artificial interaction that tricks the Google algorithm into bringing this. Uh, far enough to the top that people think it's a real legitimate website. So this is how um, different websites that are malicious will actually get past Google and, and be able to appear on the first page is they will hijack tons of different accounts and then obfuscate the fact that it's artificial traffic and end up sharing and, and doing all this stuff to lure other users to this. Um, and it also works with apps. So they will, for example, download apps and then do reviews of them and stuff to make malicious applications look as though they are you know, something that you actually might want to download. And that is how they are able to propagate themselves by using all these different accounts and the confidence that's been created by a real person setting them up to make a bunch of other accounts that uh, are malicious. So um, yeah, this has been distributed by the Microsoft Store platform, which is very spooky if you just kind of blindly trust any of these platforms that have apps in them and think that they've been vetted in various ways that would catch something like this because a lot of the time um, it is not um, something that actually happens to the degree that you would expect. So for uh, this particular type of malware, um, it seems that they're doing ad clicking as well. So do you know what a click bot is? Yeah. It's, it's just... like one of the dumbest ways to make money. <laughs> uh, so this is a very controversial opinion I'm about to state and um, I'm I'm not representing any entity in doing so, but I actually think um, click bot, like ad, ad bots or the click bots are like hilarious and like not even that bad because like they're scamming an advertising company out of watching like extremely boring ads. So of all the crimes that are happening across, you know, the internet, like these nuisance attacks where like giant networks of devices are harvested to watch fake ads. I don't think humans should be watching ads at all. So I actually kind of like low key support it, but not officially. Like, I just think it's funny that, uh, that these, store, you know, you get full access to someone's device, you get millions of devices and you use them to watch, you know, like medical ads or whatever and get like five cents per hour um, per device. More than cryptocurrency exactly yeah. yeah exactly so like you know like in the end it's just like very boring ads are being watched by robots and i'm just like boring ads should be watched by robots but obviously there's also fraud which is bad and i i am not in any way for it. um so yeah and seo poisoning is a big vector for people being infected with even more uh like devastating malware or having other more you know, important organizations potentially try to go download some enterprise software and end up on a cloned website that actually includes malware instead so this is why um, it's very difficult to trust search results sometimes because these sorts of attacks will take over lots and lots of different devices and use all of the access that they have to use social media accounts and other things to uh, just make it very, very difficult for Google to understand what's a real website that's becoming really popular and what has been targeted for artificial boosting by uh, an advanced distributed network like this. So um, this is something that's been going on for a really long time. Um, this at least since 2018 and, um, the infection route is illustrated here. Um, we got the hacker they've got the Microsoft app store application. Um, and then it does a dynamic dropper. So what it tries to do is avoid detection by pulling down basically everything directly from the website. Um, and it's kind of interesting to try to make it so that it's like more dynamic and like, isn't able to be, um, like found when scanning as directly. So then you get the electron bot malware that's dropped, they get the payload from the command and control server, which tells them what to do. And then they get the configuration file and ex start executing commands to do all the bad stuff that they want to do. And so how do you get infected? 
Well, have you ever wanted to run forever, Alex? Oh, yes, I have. Then you're vulnerable. So this is a, a Temple Endless Runner 2, uh, a cloned game that was put on the store that then you know, will, will let you play the game, but also quietly infect you and make your computer endlessly watch ads, which sounds yes. like it just puts your computer in hell. Um, <laughs> So obviously this is this is you know not something you want to infect you because it could also very quickly be turned into something else. It could because when it downloads its payload, it could decide to become a wiper and then destroy your system, depending on who's operating the malware or who could take over the malware if it's not coded very well. So one of the big dangers here is as these botnets grow, um, it's very possible that somebody with more advanced resources could crack the key to controlling it or otherwise figure out how it works and then use it for their own purposes. And it would be very difficult to know um, who did that if they were able to gain control of an already existing botnet. So this has been the case before. Um, so even though right now uh, I'm jokingly saying that you know this is not that bad if it's just an ad clicker, um, it could very quickly turn into a more severe infection and then maybe even turn into a denial of, of service attack against some critical infrastructure, which would cause a lot of damage. So definitely not something to ignore.